I literally just wanna curl up in a ball and cry. I just wanna just and not come out. I'm just so overwhelmed. I'm just so stressed out with everything. I just want to go home. I don't wanna be here anymore. I wanna drop out uni. I just don't wanna be here at all anymore. and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing super super well in today's video i've actually got for you guys a first year university exam vlog this video is basically the start of the university exams i have got one exam only and it is a science exam whoop I'm not looking forward to that at all. But that is my exam. Wish me the best of luck. I also want to wish you guys the best of luck. Those of you doing your GCSE, your A level, your university exams, or your deadlines, your coursework. I'm wishing you guys all the best of luck. If you've never seen my face before and you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. My name is Rebecca. I actually post on my channel every Tuesday and every Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time. If you're looking at me and you're thinking, sis, sort out your eyelashes, sort out your wig wear some clothes jump in the shower babe this is what university exams is making me look like okay so at least my nails are done you know at least the nails are done okay the face is looking stressed out my skin's breaking out everything is aching my body's aching because of all of the revision that i've been doing all of the assessments that i've been doing all of the observations i've been doing i am just so stressed out but i am powering through like i said if you're new to the channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i am a first year university student about to hop into second year and i'm just excited for what the future has to hold i'm sorry about my appearance throughout this video but this is the reality of exams so i'm super super excited for all of you guys to watch i also just want to come in here quickly and just say a massive thank you to all of you who have showed me love i also just want to come on here and thank all of you who have messaged me showed me love showed me support from the last video that i posted i am honestly so grateful like beyond grateful i was really apprehensive about posting my last video but the support that i have received i cannot thank any of you guys enough like at all i am beyond grateful like posting something like that was not easy for me like i was really umming and ahhing whether to post it and to whether it was the best thing or whether to keep quiet but at the end of the day i'll continue to tell you guys i can't lie to you and you guys are my friends it's more than that you're my family like i just i can't lie to you i can't come on here and just be fake it's just not gonna happen and it scared me posting that video but like i said the support the messages the love so many of you just checking on me it has made me feel so loved and i can't thank you all enough so thank you so much i love you all so much i know i look like crap but this is my reality i just love you all so much and i can't thank you all enough i'm just i love you all so much and i've never had friends the way that you guys are with me so thank you so all. other than that let's get straight into this oh okay so like i said i told you guys i have got a science exam coming up real soon but i also have to plan for my maths lesson tomorrow so i'm actually doing the beginning of algebra i love white rose maths for a tool to help me for those of you who don't know i study primary education so i'm literally just currently planning out a lesson based on this after doing my lesson plan i headed straight off to the kitchen because i was feeling a little bit peckish for lunch today i have got some pasta with some sweet corn and some bacon Got to chuck that in the microwave. Whenever it is exam season, I try and like pre-make my meals as if it's placement, like how I would bulk cook my meals and stuff. That's what I try and do for placement as well. Placement. 
my mind is just all over the place. I'm so stressed out. Look at my eyelashes. That is a representation of my stress right now. But when it is exam season and when I've got deadlines, I try and cook my food in one go just so that I just have to warm it. I don't have to worry about cooking food because that is the last thing on my mind. I'm that person that when it comes to exams, I forget to eat. Like it's not good at all because you need to start your day off with a good breakfast and with some water, hydrated, healthy, full up. Like you don't want to be hungry. And like when you're doing loads of revision, loads of lesson plans, an exam, I forget to eat. I'm that person and I freaking love food. So I don't know why whenever it comes to exam season, I get like this. I have no clue, but my skin, is really really showing it eyelashes are showing it my everything is showing it i am a mess i am a mess Ooh, let's take a look oh my god that looks so good and for once i'm actually eating some veg <laughs> so let's have a taste of this i think i might have this with some naked I really, really like naked. I'm going to show you. So, this is actually the fridge. There's not much food in there. I've got the pasta, which I told you guys I make in bulk. So, I've literally got two more days worth of food there. I've literally got some bacon, some ham. Haven't got any bread. So, the ham and the butter is pretty pointless. But, I've also got some naked, which I love. I love this smoothie so much. I don't know whether it's the best for you, but at least I know that I'm getting my fruit and veg, which is going to give me some energy. I've got my food and I'm going to go. Wow. And I'm going to have a little sip of my naked. This is so good. Like, you need to put it in the fridge. It's not good if it's not in the fridge. I'll be so real, like it needs to be cold. The weather recently has been so nice. So having drinks like this, I just love in the summer. But I'm gonna try my lunch. I'm literally starving, I'm so hungry. And I'm trying not to eat out as much and trying to get rid of as much food as I can because obviously I'll be going home soon because uni is pretty much almost over. Like, can you believe that? Uni is literally almost over. So, we're literally so close to the end. We literally just have to push through. I know some of you will be going through what I'm going through with exams and with deadlines. Or some of you might finish a little bit later in June. I finish, I finished uni in March, but I've got placement, I've got deadlines still, and I've got an exam. So we're literally we're so close to the end and like we just have to push through like all of you i know have been there for me when i have been struggling with my mental health and struggling with what i've went through with the flat situation and moving out and dealing with harassment and everything like that all of you were so lovely and so kind and i want to be there for you guys in those times of trouble and those times when you're happy and when you're sad and I want to be there for all of you in, in those moments because you were all there for me, being my sisters, being my best friends, being my rock. And I can only thank literally every single one of you guys because I know I've been gone off my channel for some time now after posting that last video and I'm just trying to get my head around things. I'm trying to sort out my life and just get things right because right now everything is a mess for me um everything's a mess right now and i'm stressed with uni i'm stressed with this i'm stressed with everything and some of you might feel the way i feel like yeah the weather's lovely outside but inside i'm crying you know so I want to be there for you guys because all of you are there for me and I can thank I can only thank you all like I can't thank you all enough for the love the support that I have gained I love you all like eternally and 
you're all my best friends you're all my family like i'm not like i was so overwhelmed by everybody um and i miss posting like i miss it so much and i hate going on breaks and i hate disappearing because i love vlogging i love showing you guys what i get up to i love it like i really really enjoy it and not being able to do it or being slightly more private or just doing things a bit more restricted because i don't feel comfortable or i don't feel safe anymore is making me just look at things so much more differently which i never in a million years thought i would have to do i'm not fucking famous i'm not fucking kylie jenner i'm not i'm not beyonce where i need to fucking have security walk me everywhere but i am now anxious when going out i am now scared i am now cautious i'm always looking behind my back i'm always like i shouldn't have to feel like that at all it's not good at all i'm doing everything in my power to remain safe and to you know protect my family because this is not only an issue about me it's also an issue about my family and having deadlines exams placement to do at the same time i have been so overwhelmed with stress i literally just want to go home i want to go home i have thought about transferring unis i have thought about moving i have thought about dropping out because i don't want to be here anymore that's the truth i don't want to be here anymore i'm struggling like yeah uni fucks up fucks with your mental health yes it has but i don't want to be here anymore that's the honest truth like i i just don't and to be honest with you i'm only pushing through and continuing and striving on for my family and for my loved ones because i know that this is something that they would want me to do and it's something that i've always wanted to do for myself but it's hard and it's freaking difficult it is freaking difficult but yeah Oh God, we ne I never even got to try the pasta for you guys. So, got a little pasta container here. It's actually really good. I'm gonna give it a mix because like all of the sauce is like at the bottom. But I basically just put bacon and like some leftover cans of sweet corn that I have. I have so much sweet corn lying around. Um, because that's pretty much the only food i have sweet corn i've got so much sweet corn so many noodles and stuff like that um so i'm just trying to eat up everything that's like fresh before i go back home i think i've got just under two weeks in birmingham but i've got a lot of content to show you so i've got some vlogs coming i've got a lot coming i'm going on holiday soon oh my god i'm so excited literally i just want to get out i want to get out of this place so i'm going on holiday soon holiday vlogs coming i know you guys love the holiday vlogs but i've still got some more vlogs in birmingham before that but they were all pre-filmed if that makes sense before everything happened um so i hope you guys are all excited for that but i'm gonna munch on my lunch because it's getting cold um i've also got some sweets from tesco because i thought i'd treat myself i went to tesco this morning because i literally couldn't sleep last night like the stress has genuinely got to me that i'm struggling to sleep at night um i don't know why because before I could literally fall asleep <laughs> with a click, like, and I'll be conked out. But now I'm struggling. Uh, so I went to Tesco at literally 5 a.m. in the morning and I got myself some strawberry pencils because these are my favorite sweets. I've been having these literally since secondary school. And I noticed when the packaging changed, the packaging used to be more red. It's not pink, it wasn't pink before. That's how long I have been getting these and they used to be 40p they and now they're 50 so yeah i've literally got so many sweet snacks i've also got a fiber one 
velvet red velvet cake oh my god again these are so good only 90 calories um and tampastics and then also my naked so i am giving myself a drink like i know which is crazy because some people are going to be like how is that a treat what a fiber one and two sweets yeah it's a treat for me but one thing i haven't had which is crazy I don't know, you know at Christmas time when like if you leave the decorations up they say that you get bad luck. Is that the same with like Easter? Because I haven't had my Easter egg. I'll show you guys. I haven't had my Easter egg since Easter. I've left it in the box because I think it's so beautiful. Am I the only one? There's a lot of glare on it. But I think the egg just looks pretty that I don't want to open it. But I think it's starting to melt because of the weather. Like the weather's getting hot. And like, I think because of that, it started melting. But I just think the craftsmanship that goes into fucking chocolate design and all of that stuff. I don't know how they do it. I wish I knew because I, I love baking. A lot of you guys know. And how they do eggs and they design it, like how it's open there. I just think it's fascinating. I don't even want to... I don't want to open it. And to be honest with you, like, a lot of you probably know, like, I'm not really into chocolate. I'll eat chocolate, but it's not my... I'm a sweet cyber chocolate gal. Like, I'm not into chocolate that much. I love chocolate brownies and chocolate cake, but actually, like, a bar of chocolate, I'd never go to the shop and buy a bar of chocolate. Like, I'm not that person. I don't know why. So many people were into that, but I'm just not. I just prefer sweets. I'd rather get a bag of Tempastics or fruit pencils. Do you know what I mean? Or strawberry laces. Let me know whether you're a chocolate or a sweet person, but I'm into sweets more than chocolate. Do you know what I've been watching while I haven't been revising? Inside of Mis Misguided. It's actually really interesting. I hope that Netflix come out with one for like PLT, one for like Miss Pap, all the other brands, Boohoo, everything, because it's actually really, really interesting. The only thing that I'm like watching and noticing is that like obviously the lack of diversity, but it's actually really interesting. I'd honestly recommend all of you to watch it. I've also been watching like a lot of like Nigerian films since, or like African films, because they're actually pretty interesting. I watched, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I watched, uh, let me try and find it blood sisters oh my i watched that and that was really 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 good so i'd highly recommend for all of you to watch that and that's nigerian but it's really good i loved it it's so interesting so if you know any more nigerian or african films that i can watch let me know in the comments down below because i'd rather be watching a film than revising for my exam okay so i thought i would show you guys what i have been up to for the last coming week because it has been a very very stressful week so these are the four modules i've done this year and then obviously we have a placement folder so basically i have been planning out a maths lesson so i thought i'd just show you that um my maths lesson so far is on forming equations so i've just got a couple questions in there just to sim stimulate the children's thinking and also consolidation about the last lesson and then i've got a starter activity which is just about a function machine to work out the function like the actual rule and then i've also got some concrete pictorial resources of a girl and how she's gonna grow so it's really really fun i love planning lessons especially doing a little powerpoint and i love having visual representations um there as well just for the children it's ma it makes it easier for them to understand i feel like sometimes with maths it gets a little bit boring so having little pictures and stuff like that as representations really helps the children understand and makes it more realistic they can imagine it in real after life. my planning was done i began to do some science revision which is what i've done here and also chucked on a face mask For those of you wondering, I don't like to revise for way too long as I just feel like the retention does not stay in my brain. The information genuinely leaves. So I tend to do about half an hour each time, not more than an hour because that's just how my brain works best. 
go. I thought I would show you guys what I have to type up when I'm at placement or some of the deadlines which I have to do, which are observations. So this is a science observation, which I haven't actually done, but here is just some of the questions. So for like for this area, we'd have to refer back to this module, which was regarding the science audit. I think it's actually the core module, so maths, English and science, but by the end of this observation, basically, I should be able to promote good progress and outcomes for pupils, demonstrate good subject knowledge and also plan well and teach well structured lessons. So um, they basically ask you to read the school policy of science, also access the short term and long term planning and then regarding the actual observation of the science lesson, you'd be asking for You'd be finding out what the intention of the lesson was, the impact, and also how is it implemented. Then obviously here's just kind of like the main lesson, the lesson objective, success criteria. Some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I remember that in primary school, but that's basically what we have to do. And then we have to kind of look at um, prior knowledge. So whether the children were, is this their first lesson? Is it a new topic? Or are they... Um, going back to previous learning, you know what I mean? What connections are made in primary school? It's really important that um, it's cross-curricular. A lot of the subjects, is it scaffolded? Is there differentiation used? Is it, you know, are they starting with the basics and then working their way up to a challenge? Is the teacher showing them how to model the behaviour? So this is all of the stuff that we have to think about. Is there opportunity for discussion? Is it group work? Is it classwork? Is it individual? Um, is there questionings? Is there reasoning? You know, so there's a lot of things. At the end of the lesson, you need to really look at the outcome, the overall impact of the lesson. Also, was there assessment? How did the teacher know that the children actually learned? So there's a lot of stuff to do and it is long. Like, it doesn't stop, as you guys can see. It doesn't stop. So I have got all of this to do and also my exam. So wish me luck. Because I've just done my exam. Woo! So the exam was online, thank God. Um, and I think it went pretty well. Like it wasn't that long at all. It only took me about half an hour. And I can hear the police. I can hear the people calling on me. Do 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 do. If you know that song. Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, the exam wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Like, obviously, a lot of you know, science is not really my thing. I've really, really struggled with it. I barely passed science at GCSE. I scraped that, so I, I scraped that CD. Like, I got a CD. Like, that is what I got, a CD. Um, I really, really scraped it. But, um, you know, your sis was really trying today. So we will see what I get in a couple of weeks. But yeah, I feel really, really good. I feel so blessed. I'm just done now. I feel like such a sense of relief. So I'm going to go meet up with Olivia later on. We're going to go out, which I'm super, super excited about. And yeah, the next week I'm actually going to go see Young Bane with my other friend, which I'm so excited about, which I'm also going to vlog. So it's super, super exciting. A lot of fun, fun things are happening. Um, and you guys are going to come along with me. So yeah, I just want to go home. I just want to see my family, want to see my loved ones because I freaking miss them all so much. And being in uni alone, sis is struggling, but I'm powering through, staying strong. Now I think that that's done. I'm just going to watch the Netflix Inside Misguided because I'm freaking loving it. I'm on episode four. I think I'm a bit late to watching it. Like, I think I'm quite slow, but whatever. Yeah, none of you decided to tell me what recommendations to watch. But I will see you all in my next video, which is on, going to be on Sunday at 6pm UK time. I love you all, and I'll see you soon.